hi guys in this tutorial I will show you how you can create this as you can see an awesome animated of canvas section I will show you how we can create this so let's get started so this is very easy but we need Elementor Pro for that because we will use Elementor pop-ups so go to templates pop-up click add new give it a name in here close this library window we don't use any template so let's close this for this width let's set it to 100% viewport width and for height choose custom and set to 100% viewport height so that it covers our entire screen for this position let's set it left and vertical center we don't need any overlay so let's disable overlay let's set an entrance animation you can choose whatever animation you want so let's choose uh, fade in left in my case and for the exit animation let's choose slide out lift okay perfect so let's place this close button to the left hand side so that it appears when everything get loaded on our screen so for horizontal let's make it to 98 percent our pop-up is now set perfectly so let's add our three column you can add as many column you want so in my case we am using three column so let's click this section and for the content width let's set to full width column gap let's make it wider so that we have a little bit gap around each of this column for the height let's make it 100% viewport height for column position make it stretch okay so that all of our column stretch automatically to your screen and vertically align let's set it to middle so that all of our content stays in middle of our section okay everything is set now so let's add our content in here so you can use any content for, as per your need so in my case I am using a title for this one and icon box let's duplicate this one multiple times for this column I will use some menus price list widget elementor price list widget let's copy this heading in here and for the last column let's use some contact information or I just can copy this entire column and paste it in here and delete this is empty one okay so for our first column let's choose a background of white obviously you will choose your background so in my case let's choose white for the second let's choose gray and for the third let's choose white also if you take a look our animation happens one by one okay so first column appears first then the second then the third how we can achieve this type of animation so this is also very easy so let's choose the first column go to advance motion effect and let's set an trans animation to like uh, fade in left okay and for the animation duration let's set it to zero nice let's choose the second column let's go to this motion effect fade in left and in this case animation duration animation delay make it 500 so this will be 500 millisecond delayed for the last one let's set it to 1000 okay 0 500 1000 so a 500 increment for each column so if you use 4 you can make it 500 1000 and 1500 like that okay so let's save this and publish this we don't need any condition and trigger just next next and save okay perfect so let's refresh our page where we will add that of canvas trigger let's click this button and under link 
click this dynamic and choose pop-up click this pop-up and action let's choose is open pop-up and in here let's search for our pop-up so this will be my pop-up let's choose this and let's update and now let's see what happens so click this button nice but if you notice if i when i click this button first of all a white background is showing then our can our column is animating so how we can fix that that is also very easy let's go to the, our pop-up click this gear button and let's go to this style section choose a background and set a background transparency to zero so that there is no background only transparent so let's set this again now we check if it fix our problem great so but again we have a little bit issue as you can see we have a little bit of shadow on the right hand side so let's also remove that shadow as you can see under box shadow we have a, some modification let's click this button back to defaults and let's save this now if we refresh our page and click this button as you can see our awesome animated of canvas section is now happening perfectly so this is how we can create this type of off canvas section